YouTube and thanks for coming over to our channel, Staying Kingdom Minded. So today's topic I want to discuss is how do I spend time with God? So if you've been a Christian for any amount of time or if you are new coming to the Lord, you know that spending time with God is the way that we get to know Him. We get to figure out what God's will is for our life. We grow in our relationship. Uh, we become more Christ-like. We become more of a Christian by spending time with God. So there are a couple different ways that I have chosen to talk about today on how to spend time with God. The first one is reading your Bible. So I've talked about before that the Bible is our reference guide. It's a plan for us. It's a reference book. It is a God-breathed inspiration. It's a tool that we have in our Christian toolbox that we can pull out and use at any time. It's an instruction manual for us to follow. So reading your Bible is very important. So I've got one of our mini Bibles here in the house. There are multiple other translations. You do have to be careful which translations you choose to use, um, making sure that they are not taking away or adding to the scripture, which is biblical. So, so reading your Bible, that's where we're going to learn the thoughts of the Lord. What does God say about a subject? If you want to know how to handle something biblically, where else would you go? You would go to the Bible. So I strongly recommend setting aside time every day to reading your Bible. Uh, it's very, very important in your walk with the Lord. The second way is prayer, communicating with God. If I want to know what's going on in a best friend's life, what do I do? I pick up the phone. I call them. You know, how's your day? That kind of thing. What's going on? What's new with you? And then I share things that are going on with me. So key to relationship is talking. So we talk to God when we pray. There's no script. There's no right way. There's no wrong way to pray. You just speak to God as if you're speaking to a friend. Tell him what's on your heart. Tell him what's in your mind. Things that are troubling you. Uh, things that you need help with. Your desires. The Bible tells us to make our petitions, our needs, our wants known to God. And that he will give us the desires of our heart. So the more Christ-like mindset you have, the more you're going to want what Christ wants. Therefore, the desires of your heart are going to be things that he would want for you anyway. So reading your Bible and prayer, that's number one and number two. Number three is praise and worship. Praise and worship does things for me that I cannot even begin to explain. Walls come tumbling down when we get into the presence of God. And how else do we get into the presence of God? What better way is to praise and worship? Which then leads me into um, tip number four, which is listening to Christian music. When I turn on Christian music, I just gets my mind focused on God. I can meditate Him. I can be in His presence, lift my hands, and just focus on Him. And nothing else in that moment matters but spending time with God and worshiping Him in spirit and in truth. And then that leads me to my next tip, um, number five, which is listening to sermons. It's really, really nice um, to be able to get on YouTube and watch Christian sermons, uh, like faith sermons, um, and really grow and really, you know, absorb those sermons, those topics that are being discussed. That to me is um, is very, very important. It's something that has really helped me. But listening to sermons really does help a person grow. You have to have a preacher. The Bible teaches that you have to have a preacher. Someone to speak the word of God into your life is very necessary to help you grow in your Christian faith. And lastly, the last tip that I have, and I'm sure there are many more, is meditation. The Bible talks about in Psalms, David talks about meditation. In chapter 63 of Psalms, in verse 6, David says, When I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on thee in the night watches. So he's meditating on God. He's thinking on God. His thoughts are on God. He's focused, and he's just meditating and waiting to hear from the Lord. And Paul in the book of Philippians in chapter 4 and verse 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. The word think is also translated there as meditate in other translations of the Bible. Think on the things that God would have you to think on. 
Think about God. Think about his goodness. Think about his mercy and his grace. If the things that are true, the word of God is true. That's something that we can meditate on. God can speak to us when we get into his word, when we get into his presence, when we spend time with him. We praise him and we worship him. We lift him up. That are Those are the things that allow the Lord to really speak to us while we're spending time with him. And after all, that is the goal that God would sup with us as we sup with him. And I would just, I would behoove you to get into the word of God and spend time with him in prayer and praise and worship and listening to sermons and meditation. Those things I think will help you um, grow in your walk with God. And those are the ways that I choose to spend time with God. If you have any other tips of ways that you spend time with God outside of those, um, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button below. We appreciate you for tuning in to Staying Kingdom Minded, and we hope that the Lord would continue to bless you and hope this video finds you well.